Hi guys, I'm Hamza here from the Help Times and in this video I'm going to show you how to download Android 4.0 the ice cream sandwich on Samsung Galaxy S i9000. For that uh, you should have to follow some steps and believe me it's not that difficult as it seems. I'm just going to follow a link that I will give in the description. The that is my blog the help times.blogspot.com where I have a post which will give you step by step instruc instruction to how to download uh, or install your Android 4.0 ASCIM sandwich on your Samsung Galaxy S. Now when you reach the post you will see the general information in which uh, I told you guys that how the uh, things gonna work here that number one we're gonna install XX JVU firmware on your Samsung Galaxy S if you already install it then skip this step after that we're gonna root the XX JVU firmware and after rooting that we will be installing the Askim sandwich and these are very simple steps you can easily install Askim sandwich on your mobile phone within an hour if you follow these steps easily and don't be afraid to do that because people learn stuff after doing things okay uh, in the number one section we what we're gonna do is access JVU firmware installation and uh, to install that we're just gonna follow the link open in new tab to download that the zip file after installing the zip file to extract that use this password samfirmware.com go to hot file and regular download I have already downloaded it downloaded it so I'm not gonna download it again and the file name is this I'm gonna show you where I downloaded it I downloaded it here and then after ex extraction I got these folders here okay after that what you're gonna do is install a pit file which is also I given the link here <coughs> Uh, it is just loading up uh, uh, now after downloading this you will again get the p file here that I have here you can see it we will be using it to flash our flash out our Samsung Galaxy S to 4.0 so after downloading these you will extract the the zip file that we installed in step 1 and then we will download Odin PC software which will be a platform to, uh, to flash our Android phone to download it I, uh, I also have given the link you just have to follow these steps and you will get it after installation you will get uh, this zip file and after extraction you will get .ex file which will run <coughs> very smoothly and I will show you all the steps just stay tuned and after that what we're gonna do is extract all in and, uh, and disconnect your phone if it's connected to then put your Galaxy X in the download mode and and now you can see in the right side I'm gonna I'm showing you how to put the mobile in the download mode if you if it is not clear then you can easily turn off your phone and press simultaneously volume down home and power button to get into the download mode and the screen will appear saying download mode downloading don't connect the tar don't disconnect the target okay after that what you have to do is just open Odin and I'm gonna show you how to do that uh, I have put it my phone in the download mode now I'm gonna open the Odin and after I opened it what I'm gonna do is just connect the my phone with my PC by using a USB cable now I have connected it and you can see the in the message bar the edit button is appeared after that what we're gonna do is just gonna put these files which I explained here in the in the in these in these tabs okay to do that what we're gonna, what we're gonna do is in PDA we're gonna put the card and in phone we're gonna put the modem and in SCS we're gonna put the GTI 9000 so I'm gonna do that 
and I'm gonna go to the files where I have downloaded it and extracted that file in step one okay for PDA I'm gonna PDA to cord and and to phone modem and S and CSC GT not thousand okay and pit file that we have downloaded Odin pit file here select that and after you select all the files make sure that all these tabs are checked and then just press start and it will start uh, fl uh, start flashing and after it finishes the the here the pass button will appear that I will show you in the screenshot that the the pass is appeared okay now and I will uh, await a moment and it will take almost five minutes to flash it and be patient and it will be completed and make sure your mobile phone is off when you put it on the download mode and after that what you're gonna do is <coughs> we will switch over to part uh, to step two in which we will root our xxjvu firmware and after uh, it automatically installs cwm cloak worm recovery after routing xxjvu and i will also demonstrate you how to do that now uh, make sure you install that xxjvu in the previous step after uh, to root the xxjvu you have to download this link and th th that is cf root kernel which will root out our xxjvu firmware and download it here just press on download and you will be downloaded after downloading you will <coughs> get CF kernel and extract it and it would be a tar file which will seem like this you need don't need to extract it just let it be it is just extract it once from the CF root and let it be as it is okay now what we're gonna do is again use our Odin software to flash it again again switch off your mobile mobile switch off your Galaxy S and put it in the downloading mode by pressing volume down home and power skin together and open Odin now again and connect it to the uh, your PC and again edit will be appear and I will show you again how to do that I'm just gonna go to F and open <coughs> Odin now what we have to do is put that CFR file in PDA tab okay in PDA tab we have to put the file in PDA tab we're gonna put the file CF root kernel which is a tar file and again press start and it will start flashing and again after the flashing it will give you a pass certification and now this is time to install ice cream sandwich on our galaxy S. the hard pass is over now there is a very simple and easy to step follows to which you can install the galaxy S. Uh, in, uh, by following which you will install ice cream sandwich on your galaxy S. okay now we as we have already flashed our xxjvu android 2.36 and also rooted it and now what we're gonna do is install the room for it android 4.0 room and you can download it from here and make sure to download it according to your phone version as mine was i9000 so i have downloaded it you must also be downloading this plus here and you will get the ics version which is here and after extraction <coughs> and be it let it and don't extract it and let it as a zip file <coughs> and then what you're gonna do is just <coughs> power off your phone 
before powering off your phone you must put the ROM zip file in your internal SD card from which you will be routing your phone after you put the ROM in your in your an internal SD card remember the address where you put the file and remember the name of it and then power of your Samsung Galaxy S wait 5 or 6 minutes to confirm that your phone is powered off after that put into recovery mode by pressing power up and home and power button simultaneously till the Galaxy S logo shows up and then let let the buttons go and you will boot in CWM recovery and you will see a brown colored brown colored <coughs> screen and then what you have to do is just use your power up and power down buttons to scroll up and scroll down and power of button to select things up and return button to return okay what you have to do is just select do wipe data uh, do wipe data factory reset and uh, you will see that in there and then do wipe cashier partition which is also be there and after clicking on that and yes I want and then select yes I want to delete the cashier partition and factory reset after that go to advanced and wipe del uh, <coughs> delvic cache and after that what you have to do is just now what you have to do is just go to install zip file from the main menu of that C uh, CWM recovery and select and browse to the ROM file where you placed it in the step 4 and select yes I, ins I want to install the ROM and after installing the phone will automatically reboot it and after the after the reboot the phone will again um, open up in CWM recovery mode but the color of the screen will be changed into blue as you can see in the right side of the screen now what you have to do is follow those steps again if you want to or you can just again browse to uh, to the zip file installation go to <coughs> Uh, go and then what you have to do is just select install zip from SD card to zip file from SD browse to SD and select the ROM file again that you place in your phone and press yes I want to install that and you <coughs> and it will take a file to install and <coughs> and after that it will automatically be rebooted or not then it, there would be a notification that it, the installation is completed and uh, when that notification comes go back and reboot your phone and after rebooting your phone <coughs> you will be running ice cream sandwich android 4.4 on your samsung galaxy s i hope so that this tutorial helped you and let me know if it is helpful thanks for watching Subscribe. Bye-bye.